Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. It's time to speak with Elisa about the message that she just sent me, and then I think we're just about to deal with Anonym. You're finally here. I was starting to get worried you'd never come back. I tried to send you a message, but your Pip-Boy still isn't connected to the Imperial Network. Wait, it isn't? Didn't I connect it? Huh. Anyway, uh, we have a chance to catch Anonym. We almost started without you. A group that was set off for Anonym's base at night needs to be prepared immediately. Because there's a risk that the information could be leaked to our enemies, I couldn't initiate too many people into the plan. But I still managed to put together a small squad of volunteers from the Imperial Army. However, they won't accomplish a great task like this alone. They will need all the help they can get. I hope it won't fail you and finally capture Anonym. The Imperial soldiers with you at your side surely won't, but you must be very careful. Anonym is capable of anything and will certainly try some deceit. You mustn't let him outsmart you. You don't have to worry about that. Anonym's days are numbered. Wait until midnight and head for his hideout with the soldiers. Wait. Am I gonna... Oh shit, I don't think I'm gonna have my companions with me. Except for a woofer. I had to leave them outside because of the gun. Because you can't have a gun with you. Yeah, it's just me and Woofer. Shit. Sorry, Carrie. Sorry, Lystra. Here we go. Hello! Hi. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. I see some big guns there, too. After a long wait, another group finally enters the underground. The squad of volunteers prepares to attack. At first you cannot see anything in the darkness, but slowly you begin to recognize outlines of Imperial armor and insignia. Finally, a person with a scarred face emerges. Before you stands Advisor Iran. What? Advisor Iran? The fuck is going on? I mean... I know they said to look out for Anonym's Games of Deceit, but, uh, I don't think these are holograms, right? Hope you have a good explanation for this, otherwise prepare for a painful death. Aron looks shocked. I should be the one asking for explanations, stranger. Advisor Elisa told me he was supposed to appear here tonight. I came here to verify that personally. My inaction has already cost the lives of too many Imperial soldiers, but what are you doing here? Choose your answer carefully. What the hell's going on? Nice try. I am the one Elisa sent here, and she was very careful not to let anyone else know about it. If you are telling the truth, then we were both sent after Anonym, but that makes no sense. Suddenly he pales, as if he realized something terrible. Unless Elisa herself was the one behind the conspiracy. She arranged for me to be assassinated in an abandoned cellar far away from the Empire to tarnish my name, and intends to frame me as Anonym. Now it all makes sense! How could I have been so blind? Hmm. Hmm. Gotta be honest, I don't really know what the hell's going on exactly. Hmm. You have no proof of your claim, it's just your word against hers. Why should I trust you? I have my honor. I would never resort to lying. The Empire lies in great danger. If Elisa is capable of such despicable deception, she will not hesitate to take even Mizrael's life. She will do anything to rule the Imperial City. I must act at once. Over your corpse, if I have to. Hmm. Um, I feel like Elisa being the one behind it all seems more likely in this situation. Trying to take power. Yeah, I could see that. 
All right, I believe you. However, it is possible that Elisa has already turned everyone in the city against you. Are you sure you want to go against the whole army with such a small group? Maybe it's suicidal, but I offer you my help. God, I wish I had Carrion. Uh, what was her name? Ly Lys Lys Lystra? Lystra. I wish I had them with me. I feel so alone, but I have Woofer here. Nice and warm and fuzzy. You lack the training and discipline of an Imperial soldier, but in this situation, I do not have much choice. I will be grateful for your service. We shall wait until dawn, and then head to the gate. I refuse to fight under the cover of darkness like a coward. Hopefully, other soldiers will join us. Alright, I'm right behind you. What have I got myself into? <laughs> well, actually, hopefully what I've got myself into is something extremely lucrative. After all, they've got some nice armor and weapons. Right behind you. What about the rest of you? What will you do? Advisor Iran, I hope you understand we have no way of knowing on which side lies the truth. We won't stop you, but neither can we join you. I understand. It's fine. Hope I'm gonna end up on the right side of this thing. Oh, let us pass immediately. I need to have a serious talk with Elisa. You're not going anywhere. Advisor Elisa told us the truth about you. You're under arrest. How could you dare to betray us? You of all people. Maybe I can help them and talk our way out of this. Or talk our way into this, rather. This is pointless. We'll have to find our way to Elisa. Oh, <laughs> never mind. See, this is what I was talking about. Like, I have a good speech skill. My character is made for speech, and yet Fallout 1.5 just, like, never allows me to use that. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, what do I have loaded in this thing? Hollow point. They're all heavily armored, so I definitely want AP. Unload you, pop that in. Alright, do I even have enough AP to fire? I don't, because I opened my inventory twice, I used it up used up AP points twice on that. Great. Step one, run away. Step two, snipe them. Well at least they're not shooting me, so I'm very happy right now. Damn it, they got one of ours, we got one of theirs. Alright, we're even so far. Can I, um, play anytime soon? Okay, now I can. Also, it's dark, so let's turn the brightness up so you can see better. I can see pretty well, but I'm pretty sure after YouTube compression and whatnot, it probably is a little bit harder for you to see. Um, should I try sniping or should I just burst fire him? Probably just burst fire, huh? Except I'll probably hit my allies. Never mind, let's snipe. I could of course run out in front of all of my allies and burst fire, but then I'm probably the one that's gonna get shot. I'd rather hide behind them and just snipe. Shoot him in the eyes. Nice. 84 points of damage. Come on, Woofer. Alright, they're dead. They're dead. Just two more to go. It's looking pretty good for us so far. I wonder if Elisa... I mean, not Elisa, um... 
Lystra and Carrie are still inside. Hopefully they haven't... God, I hope they haven't returned back to their initial spots, especially Carrie, who's all the way back and said it. I haven't been shot a single time. Oof. Okay, sure. Yep, yeah, you, you go on ahead. I'm just gonna loot. Man, oh my god, light plasma rifle. I mean, I can't use any of these things, because I'm not an energy weapon person, but I can only imagine how much this is worth. Oh boy. Dear god. <laughs> Carrie, you need to hold this stuff. Come here. Alright, let's pray Carrie is still here. And Lystra. Yes, they are! Ah, damn, it's another cutscene. I can't get them on my party until we're done fighting them, I guess. Man, there's an awful lot of them, huh? Six. Just out here, I'm sure there's more inside, unless this is all the inside guards that came out. Um. Um. Can I talk with you? No, I can't. I wonder if I should just burst fire them. Well, I mean, I can get a safe burst fire off on a couple of them right now. Like you. Then I run away. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot my people. These are going to be some long turns until people start dying. Sit back and watch the show. No! We surrender, we'll accept any punishment. You will most likely face execution in the Empire. Oh man, I was worried that if Ron died, it would lead to... Okay. You literally just die. <laughs> Alrighty then. Shit. Iran? You need some stim packs, man. Heal yourself. Alright, I guess I need to go out in front and get shot. Fine, I will then. We're going full on burst fire now. Also, I probably need to just straight up heal Baron. Right, so how are you right now? Oh, on her? That is a Ron, right? Right? Uh, I think that's wrong. Yeah, it's gotta be. Alright, so I guess they start out unhurt, or they just never got hurt in the last place. So we're good for now, but I gotta keep an eye on them. Alright, I'm a target. Shoot me. <laughs> Shoot, try your own person. Nice. Ooh, I'm almost dead. Shit. I think I'm dead. Think I'm gonna be dead? 
Not dead? Get him, Woofer. They better not shoot my dog. Oof, Ron just got critted for 65. Also, I'm very close to dead. Severely wounded. Time to start using all those stims. Um, how do I use them on you? That didn't work out so well. I wish Iran just wasn't in the front. I think my teammates are actually helping me, even though they're technically not on my squad. Oh, Iran just used Stimpak. So I think they're good now? No, they're almost dead. Wait, what? What can I move? What? What? Oh. I'm crippled, aren't I? Okay, and I'm dead now. Damn. It's gonna be freaking hard. Just keeping Iran alive is gonna be hard. I'm gonna run out in front again. Please shoot me, but please don't crit me. Even with the snazzy new armor. Even with the snazzy new armor, this is hurting. Oh fuck, they're literally all shooting me. I think I'm dead. Wolfer's trying to protect me. So, uh, teammates, I've got a tip for you. Have you ever heard of the concept of focusing fire? Did you know if you all shoot at one person, it's more effective than if you shoot everybody? Separately? Oh, Christ. Ten hit points. Ten hit points for that, huh? Is this from, is this from before I switched the ammo? This sucks so bad. No! You hit Woofer! My own people. No, that's armor piercing. Alright, I'm just gonna use the sniper. Did such poor damage. Can you please die now? Oh my god, this is so bad. I've had three turns and I haven't even killed one person. No one's died. But hey, at least Iran's not dead. Did they die? No, now they died. Okay, we got one. I'll take it. 
We got two! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Good job, Wolfer. Just don't crit Aran, please. How you looking? Oh god, Aran's almost dead. Oh boy. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go heal her on. Is it gonna cost two action points every time I do that? Yeah, it does. Alright, I'll heal him three times. How you looking now? Wounded. I'll take it. Nice, Woofer. Got her. There's only two left. Oh, I'm feeling really good about this now. Started this with like 19 stims and basically used them all now. Hold on, how are they looking? Which one's more hurt? Unhurt? Oh, they're both unhurt. Alright, whatever. Come on, get him, we got this! Nice! Sounded like you hit some cinder blocks back there, but alright, good try. Yes! Alright, is this another cutscene? Oh, fuck me! Please no! Advisor Iran, they say that you're the anonym, but that can't be true. We don't believe that. What's going on here? Okay, good. Whew! Oh. Elissa has to be the anonym. She's trying to take over the throne. We must act quickly or she will kill Emperor Misriel. Yes, sir. We're behind you. Good! Oh, thank God! And now it looks like I have an opportunity to save the game. Thank God. I can do that. I can get my friends. Come on, let's go. Please help me. I really need your help. Thank you. You too. Let's go. Um, let's heal. How you looking, Woofer? Wounded. Alright, let's give you a little... I, I doubt we're gonna have to... There's so many allies, I don't think we're gonna have any problems. Ron waits until the group gathers and gets their attention with a decisive gesture. Before us lies the main palace hall, with Elixa and her closest followers inside. They have both numerical and tactical superiority. A direct attack would spell our doom. That is why I shall try to negotiate her with her while you get into position and prepare to attack. Expect a fight against the elite of the Imperial Army that is supported by a unit of robots as well. It will be a tough battle. Will you prevail regardless? The soldiers meet his question with a silent but decisive assent. Aron turns to you. And you, are you with us? I will keep my word, but I would suggest holding the attack off for a while. We don't have to fight with the robots. If you know where the control console is, I could try to disable them. He thinks for a while. Every moment of delay worsens our situation, but shutting down the robots could decide the battle. Very well. The console is located in the bottom left corner of the main hall. However, you'll need to be very careful. It is imperative that Elisa's people do not see you. Much is at stake. Oh my god, is this going to be the first time I get to use my science skill? I hope so. Only like 18 hours into the game and I maybe get to use it once. Bottom left corner of the main hall. Okay. Suppose now would be a good time to level up, too. Small guns is always good. Couple more points in that. Couple more points in science. Couple more points in speech. 
My lockpick's honestly pretty good once you take into account the lockpicking tools I have. So considering that, let's put more points into repair? Sure. Okay, main hall, bottom left. Uh, what is that over here? Is it not here? It can't be here, right? Oh, no, this is it. <laughs> Why did they say try not to be seen? It's behind us, not in front of us. Okay, um, try to hack into the computer. You are successful in hacking into the computer. You find dozens of records concerning the traits and test results of volunteers who wanted to join the army of the Empire. Oh, wait. Oh, this is nothing new with the robots. This is... Open records pertaining to Felix Velasquez. Oh, that's how you get around sleeping with that person. You hack the computer. Well, this is an awkward time to discover this, but I guess I'll follow this. Alright, what happened to Felix? Just as all the other novices, Felix, too, had to go through a series of physical and psychological tests, the results of which are detailed in the records. You don't have enough time to go through it all. Search Brahman's personal notes from the day Felix was tested. In his personal calendar, Brahman made a very interesting private note. Felix Velasquez may not be suitable for the army, but there is no denying that he is somewhat attractive. I think Chuck could take a liking to him. I'm sending him to Chuck. Oh. So. Wasn't just a bit of a creep with me. It seems he gave a kid to someone else. Holy shit. Well. Who's Chuck? Be the final evaluation. Rejected, does not be the standards, uh-huh. Okay. Not sure who Chuck is, but uh, I'm gonna follow up on that shortly. Jesus Christ. Alright, so it's somewhere... I guess I should stop running, huh? I should probably sneak, even though I don't think it matters with a whole train of NPCs behind me, plus my sneak skill is terrible. Is it that? That's a monitor, it's not a console. Is it here? I mean, isn't this the security room? Hold on. I'm confused. This doesn't seem right. There's consoles all over this place. Let me try them. That's not the one. No, this is just giving me the prompt for, like, changing my pip boy so I can receive messages, that sort of thing, from before. What about these? Can I use these? Monitors? No. Can I science the monitors? Well, this is the chef's place, so I'm pretty sure that console down there doesn't matter. Alright, I guess it's up in the corner. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Aha! Uh -huh. Try to hack the computer. You failed to get into the system. Um... Seriously? 
My science skill is 114%. Do I have to, like, use my science skill on it? You successfully hacked into the computer. Alright. You find out that it's a console for monitoring security robots. It was activated when the robots entered combat mode. Look if it would be possible to reprogram the robots to attack your enemies. Ooh. Yes. You're not authorized to execute this command. This console is not designed to interface in security robot programming. Uh, interfere in security robot programming. Let's try to go around the problem. You find out how to interfere with the robot's programming and manage to bypass the security protocols. Sending new designation of allies and enemies. Designation changed. Oh my god. <laughs> So, I finally really do seriously get to use my science skill. It only took like 18 hours into the game or so, but uh, it sure paid off in a big way. Okay, so they're not like pouring in, so I'm guessing I have to start the encounter and then, then it'll happen. Let's go back. Run! Well, did you manage to disable the robot units? We cannot wait any longer. I managed to do more than that. The robots will fight on our side. Excellent. Elisa is in for an unpleasant surprise. Your skills have surpassed all my expectations, stranger. Now, we must attack. The fate of the Empire depends on how well we do in the coming battle. Alright, let's go. Stop, Elisa. Your treachery has been exposed. If you put your weapons down immediately, you will be treated mercifully. Advisor Iran, your intervention comes... At the last possible moment, my life. Okay. Well, no chance to negotiate there, huh? So yeah, she was guilty. Couldn't take a senile prattle anymore. Had to end it. Yeah, I can't possibly read this. It goes too fast. Sometimes, sometimes it's a good speed, and other times it's just weirdly fast. He's going to pin it on Iran, killing Miserial. Why don't you send in the robots, Elisa? Send them in. Please don't shoot me. So, seriously, where are the robots? Like, are the robots behind these things? Or are these jail cells? Or Oh, here's a security robot. There's another security robot. Is there a way to, like, open the force fields, or what? Or are they just... Maybe they'll just pop out on their own. Let's hope for that. Okay. I'm gonna kill her first. She looks very unprotected. Oh yeah, force fields are down. <laughs> Hello. I'm so glad I don't have to fight those things. That's the thing, if my science skill wasn't good, I would have to fight those things. They are going to chew through them. I think there's two small ones and two very, very big ones. Oh no, there's at least three small ones. Terminate. Terminate. These are going to be very long turns, but very satisfying.
even more. Hello, friends. Join the party. Just getting started. Goodbye, Elisa. Damn it. That did really poor damage. I can't wait to see the big ones fire. I wonder if they have rockets. One down. Uh oh, don't kill me. <laughs> nice. It didn't even kill her. She just she just took a rock she just took two rockets to the face. That's incredible. No! You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god. How tedious. Alright. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Oh. There we go. Apparently all we had to actually do was just kill at least at least so. Thank God. Building the Empire will take tremendous effort. We must not lose any time. This is going to put me in an interesting position. They're going to like me a lot, aren't they? Our battle is over. I still cannot believe what that traitor was capable of. The Empire will need strong leadership now. I only hope that I have the strength to provide it. A resolution like that will take a lot of effort, but I believe you'll find it in yourself. Thank you for the encouragement, stranger, and for your help in the palace. As a sign of my thanks, I had a financial reward arranged for you. You can collect it from Supply Officer Margaret Dandridge. And if I ever find myself in a tough situation again, rest assured that I will let you know. I could find a use for your talents here again. I was told that your Pip-Boy is connected to the Imperial Network, so we can stay in contact that way. Until then, look after yourself. I was kind of expecting more. I basically said, yeah, good work, here's some money. If I ever need you again, I'll call you. You realize I pretty much like single-handedly saved your ass? Fine, could you answer a few questions for me? Hmm. I think the most important thing right now is, how did you get those scars on your face? It happened during the first big ghoul attack on the Empire. The unpleasant memory clouds Aran's voice. I was in command of an advanced unit then, camping south of the city. The ghouls threw a mass of heavily armed soldiers against us. We managed to repel the first wave, but the enemy soon managed to cut us off from the main army. We were surrounded. Without any hope of survival, that is why I decided on an extreme solution. I gave an order to place explosives around our position, and to lure as many ghouls as possible to them. None of my soldiers protested. They knew they were not coming back alive, and wanted to die like heroes. They executed my order flawlessly. When I could not even, when I could not even see through the hordes of ghouls, I detonated the fuse. 
The explosion that followed destroyed everything close by. Hundreds of ghouls blown to pieces, and my men with them. I have no idea how I survived. All I know is that the search party found me a few days later, unconscious, and with heavy shrapnel cuts, dozens of meters away. I'd also like to know how the Imperial subjects took Misrael's death. <laughs> As if they would know, Misrael just died literally like two minutes ago. <laughs> uh, took it hard, mm-hmm. Okay. What's your future plan for the Empire? Must return it to its former purpose. Restoration of the old world civilization must continue. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I did not expect to get uh, caught up in such an epic quest. I mean, I guess it wasn't that epic. It's kind of over with pretty quickly, but... Like, I, I was just involved in something major. Also, I just got 7,500 experience, which is almost enough to level me again. Nice. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if they shot me for carrying a weapon around inside the palace? For a second, I was actually worried that would happen. Um, I think it's daytime again, isn't it? Is it? I don't think so. What time is it? Uh, no, it's almost daytime. Seven in the morning. It's twilight, or whatever you'd call it. Alright, let's see what our payment is. I'll give you some pay. Mm -hmm. 5,000 caps. That's it? I mean, 5,000 caps is a lot, don't get me wrong, but for, I, for what, what I just did, I feel like I deserve like 20,000. I basically just saved the Empire. Whereas, uh, with that rich sheriff, I got his son back and he gave me 10,000. So getting someone's son back is worth 10,000 and saving an Empire is worth 5,000? Okay. Okay. Sure. That sounds about right. Alright, let's finish up a couple more things while I'm here. Now that I know a little bit more about uh, Felix, I should go talk to who? Who gave me the quest about Felix? It was someone over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, up here. I should be able to mention what I've learned. And maybe she can tell me who the hell Chuck is? What are you going to do with that weapon? Oh, she doesn't want to talk to me. Hold on, sorry. Okay. Who the hell do I talk to about Chuck? Like, um... There's someone who just, like, sold a kid to someone? Presumably to be... raped? I should be able to tell someone? Oh, here we go. It looks like I can find some more information about Chuck from Lystra. What do you think connects Brahmin with Chuck? The only Chuck I'm aware of is the weapon salesman in the Hunter's territory. I don't see what he has to do with anything, but we should check him out. People will start making sense. At least I hope it will. Weapon salesman, Hunter's territory. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, shit, right. Got some things for you to carry.
think I might be missing one body. Are there just two bodies there? I think there's just two, actually. Okay, that's all. Alright, Chuck. I think I might need to put on my weapon for this. I want to know what you have to do with Zachary Brownman. I know there's something between you. My, my, quite the meddler, are you? Why do you stick your nose into things that are none of your business? I'm looking for a boy called Felix Velasquez, and the trail led me to you. Felix was a delicious sweetheart. So you could have had a, we could have had a great time together, but you just had to ruin everything and try to run away. I had to teach him a lesson. Um... It sounds like he tried to run away, and then Chuck murdered him. I don't even really want to read this. Even if he got himself killed, his body is still mine. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. So, child necrophilia looks like he's into that. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, let's see where we're gonna go with this. Um, I've got an idea. Hmm. So maybe it's not a great idea. Maybe not a great idea at the moment because I don't have any stims left and I'm almost dead. But you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Hold on. You don't have any armor, which means we should use hollow point. He's probably very weak, so hopefully I can kill him in one go. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I might be dead. Oh no, I get another turn. Alright, you're dead. Or not. It's alright, I can get outside. Hey Chuck! Alright, good. Oh god, does he have a cellar? I don't think I want to see what the hell's down there, but I guess I have to. Uh, hold on, you wanted to say something, didn't you? Do you have anything to say about what we found out about Chuck? Disgusting animal, can I seriously have a different opinion? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh yes, yeah, so I guess the bigger question is, what should we do with Colonel Browman? Although Colonel Browman is probably already in jail, right? I don't... unless they've returned to their previous post? I don't think so. Report him to a superior officer. Colonel Parson is the person we're looking for. We'll need proof, however. Your or my word won't be enough in this case. The idea that an officer of the Imperial Army did something like this is unimaginable for everybody. Colonel Parson. Alright, so we need to bring evidence to Colonel Parson. Understood. Anything on the computer? So, no one wants to kill me because I killed Chuck, right? Okay, they're all cool. Can I, like, take their entire gun stores? Oh, fuck. 
The following explosion destroys Chuck's goods completely. Crap. Oh well. And there's Felix's body. Waka's Zashi blade. Interesting. Hey, wait, there's someone alive down here. Shit. The boy steps backwards. What? Who are you? Where's Chuck? Chuck is dead. You, you killed him. Really? I hope he suffered. A lot. It's all over now. Will we be able to get out of here? Yes. I think we'll manage. We'll? Is there another one? Somehow, we'll go home. Home. I never thought I'd ever leave this place. Jesus Christ. How long have they been here? First, we'll go to Colonel Parson. I'll tell him what was going on here. I don't want to remember. I don't want to talk about it, but he must know what kind of a monster Brahmin is. What that bastard did to us. And that he also used to come here and... Alright, don't think about that now. Go home. I guess that's my evidence. Getting the hell out of this place. That was a very disturbing quest line. I guess we. Christ, we probably have to go back and tell the mom, huh? Excuse me. Is the quest still active? Yeah, alright, I gotta go back and tell her. Sorry, but your son is dead. No, that can't be true. You must be mistaken. My Felix can't be dead. She breaks into tears. Well, here's what happened. Don't really feel like reading it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I was wondering if she might be at some point be able to take on um, Catherine's daughter. It looks like this is the moment. You shouldn't be alone in this. I know about a girl that needs someone from the Empire to take care of her. You could help her, and yourself as well. I gotta say, this is really an awkward time to do this, because... Oh my god, I just told her that her son is dead. I'm like, hey, do you want a replacement? A replacement for your dead son? That's really awkward, but all right, let's go with it. Uh, what about her mother? What kind of a woman is she that she can't take care of? Yep. Explain the whole situation with her being a mutant. Okay, good. Looks like she's willing to take Sophie in. Uh, 
so yeah, it looks like she, before she said that uh, it is possible to adopt, in rare cases, possible to adopt people from outside the Empire, but looks like she can't do anything about the mother. Okay, I'll tell her. Let's go tell Catherine. As soon as you enter the dead court, you're surrounded by a group of armed men. The runt Benicio steps right before you. Looks like this is the end for you. Pick the wrong side. Oh! Right, the person who wanted me to be on Anonym's side, huh? Well, this is bad, because I've got, like, no health. Huh. That's awkward. Oops, I didn't mean to move. Well, I would have died anyway. Well, that puts me all the way back here. Is this before I dealt with Chuck? It is. Oh, Christ. Alright, well, I think I'll end this episode here. When I return, I'm going to do all this just off-camera. And then on camera, I guess, find somewhere to heal and get some stim packs so I can actually be prepared for those people that are going to jump me. And then go tell Catherine about Sophie.